Hey guys, Fubbleek here today and welcome back to Transport Fever. Last time we built up this hub here and I have changed it a little bit since last time because uh, there was a mention of, you know, adding cargo platforms to the train station which I felt made a lot of sense so I actually added those in. And then I kept a passenger platform over this side just because I, I, I did originally add the cargo platform over here and then it just got too big so... I kind of, I, I guess, I, I guess that could be a cargo platform, but anyway, it's not. Another passenger line is just there, so I, mean, I don't know what we're going to use all these for, but they're there for the future. I also redid this little road a little bit, so it's not as crazy. It still just goes underneath and then joins up uh, directly to this cargo platform, so that the vehicle sort of just comes straight through. Because I didn't really want it sort of interfering with all the other roads. Uh, at the moment, it's not really a problem, but I feel like in the future it could get quite busy. Uh, and then what else did I do? Oh yeah, I just added this larger tunnel here and a road connection, so there are some cars using it. Other than that, things are going pretty well. Our uh, sort of coal and iron ore train is doing really well. I want to get another one of these soon. Uh, it, it costs like 12 million to get another one though, so it'll be a little while. I guess we could just wait. Or the other thing I wanted to do is actually collect, start collecting fish from the Midland Fishery. Take those to this guy up over here, the meat processing plant. Which will then get take two fish to get one piece of meat. Then we can take that up to here to the food uh, processing plant where we get two bits of food, and then we can take it back down to Midland, which also needs food. So that I thought would be a good little chain to set up. I don't really know actually what trains take uh, sort of. Okay, so we can take fish and meat and actually food all in the same thing. So in a box car. Okay, that's actually really good. So we can sort of add all that together, but I'm wondering... Oh, yeah, I guess because we could collect the food and bring it back. Uh, so maybe what we do with the train is we train fish to here. Then I guess it could wait for the food, or wait a little bit, maybe? Or maybe that should just be set... No, let's set up trucks between these two, because otherwise the train is going to be, you know, going back and forth in these two spots and not picking up much. I think if we set up a truck between these two places to take... The, uh, take the meat there, bring the bread back, then we can load up the train back this way. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get a train platform over here, cargo station. We only need one, uh, one platform on this, I guess. So we'll just do one for now. And we're gonna use these train lines that we already have, because it just makes sense. So I think maybe if we do it... Hmm, it's the best way we could sort of line this up. Because I don't really want it to interfere with the other train line. I typically like to keep all this stuff as separate as we can. But I also don't want it facing a really weird angle. Because, uh, like, if it's... Really, I want it... Fa I mean, if I could get it like this. And I was like, here. That would probably work pretty well. So maybe I can... Maybe I'll just do that. Because that should actually work. I think that'll be okay if I get the road out here. If we get a road along... Oh, we don't need tram tracks. Get a road along the front. And then just have that connect up over here. Hang on. Hello? Why is this... There we go. Make it curved, please. There. And then have that come as close as we can, really. Maybe like there, and then like this. And then I'm hoping... I mean, yeah, that, that should be close enough. I'm hoping that's close enough, but yeah, it definitely is. Okay, cool. That's good. So then we can get the train line to go... Uh, so this on the way out is going to want to either go over or under. Probably under, because that's going up. So we could probably get underneath. Uh, hope, well, I'm hoping we can. Please. Or not. Hmm. I thought we might be able to get underneath, but it appears like we cannot. So, hmm. Maybe what we do instead then is remove this first and we'll build that after. I'm going to pause while I do this because I've just destroyed that line. But if we go like this and we go down... How, how far do we have to go to get to a tunnel? Oh, there it is. Because I want to go down and then get uh, under the other side of this. Oh, this is so bad. This is so... Hang on, i got to fix this. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I think it... I mean, it looks alright. It's a little messy. But basically, it means that we don't have any level crossings of trains going in different directions. So that we can get to this platform down here without it having to cross over oncoming trains. Which, I mean, at the, again, at the moment, probably not a big deal. But later on, as we get more and more trains, it might become an issue. So... It's always good to just future-proof that. So that train will then come all the way down here, and then we have to have a station here somewhere for this uh, area. So I think... I'll, yeah, let's do a single platform again, and this will just go here somewhere. Probably more at this angle, like that. Actually, if I put it here, 
We should be able to get a nice road here and then get a, get a cargo uh, stop for trucks as well. And I think I'm just going to rebuild this entire road because it's just so um, curvy that it's just not going to be very good. So we'll just probably get a direct, more direct line. Uh, and then let's also get a cargo stop. We can say no tram tracks, one platform, 30 meters. You can always make it bigger, which we probably will be doing that. And I'll just join directly to the train station like that. And then I guess, well... I need to have it joined to the uh, actual fishery as well, so I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna get the road. Uh, actually, is this, so that's 40, that's 60. I guess we'll go for this road for now. Doesn't look as nice as having a paved road, but it's gonna be faster, so probably a good idea. I might just, I mean, I'm just gonna do that. I'll just have a little road there. That'll connect it all, so that should be fine. And then this guy can go, well, we need a, I guess, well, we don't need two things here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do this, I have two platforms. They're gonna come in, drop off on the right, and then go around to the left to pick up. I think that's what we'll do, just so they can sort of do it all in the one place and they don't have to do it on a single platform. So it's, I guess, a little bit more efficient, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Anyway, 100,000 just for that road, so that'll go there. Basically a simple truck line between those two. Then this train will do the same thing uh, that will come down here so it can easily remerge onto this track here. Like that. And then I'm going to want a track coming off and then maybe staying level. Because this is actually, oh, this is quite hilly. This is actually pretty good. This will actually work to our benefit. Oops. Okay, well, not that. So if we go from here, come this way, and then stay level. I was hoping it would go into a tunnel a little bit sooner, but I guess it's not going to. There we go. And then come around. Oh, I curved that way too much. Uh, let's let's do one a little bit smoother, just so we don't have such a sharp sort of turn there. We can keep the full speed. I don't know why it's sort of coming back up. I mean, I want it to come back up, but not too sharp, or not too sharp, too steep. And then I come all the way into there. It has to slow down a little bit there, but that's okay, because it's going to the station anyway. So let's do a couple of signals along here, and then this should all sort of be set up and then obviously we just gotta set up the train lines but that should be no problem really uh i guess i want that there and maybe one here oh it's kind of already one there that's fine all right so that should be good so then that's set up to them so i also did go through and rename all these train lines and this was a system i think that nicholas posted in the comments uh so we've got like for each of the types of vehicles we've got like cargo train and then the M's or the D's are either manufacturing or delivery. So delivery, the D sort of denotes uh, like lines that will deliver something directly to a town. And the M is one that's just going like factory to factory. That's kind of how that's set up. I liked that system. It seemed easy enough to remember and try to keep on top of. So we're going to do that. I'm going to create a new line. Uh, so this is going to be from the fishery. And then that's going to go to the food processing plant or whatever it is. So this is going to be a cargo train, or oh, no, cargo train, and it's going to be manufacturing, and then I guess this is Midland um, fish. Yeah, it's just Midland fish. That's kind of all it is. And then we can give it a nice color. Maybe, so we've got the green train line. This can maybe be, I guess, blue. I just, I mean, we already have like a blue. I did a little bit of a darker blue. That's fine. So that'll go there. And then the Oh, this isn't reconnected. I was going to say, we have a train depot here. I guess if we're not using that, I might just actually get rid of this, because this train line here really sucks. <laughs> I hate that. We had the one here, so we could actually maybe connect up this whole network to this bridge. Which I kind of wanted to do anyway, because we got the cargo platform here, so at some point we might want to connect up anyway. So let's see if we can go from here up to the bridge. Is that something we can do? It doesn't seem to even want to try, so... I don't know that we can. It, wow. Okay, this really does not like this. Collision. There's immediately a collision somehow. I think it's like too low to the ground. So it, it's just automatically trying to do a... Oh, okay. I don't, it's just trying to... Okay, stop. Trying not to do a bridge. But it means I can't branch off of this. So I think I'd have to do it back here. And then we have to go like down. This road is really in the way. Get rid of that. So if we were to come from here somewhere, all right, and come down here, that uh, branch is not looking, it doesn't look very nice there because it's kind of not, yeah, that's not doing a great, 
This is not this is not working as well as I would want it to. Maybe we go a little bit further back. We maybe we slip off like that and then come down. That might work better. Okay, that comes down to here. So I have this main road here, which I don't really know what I'm doing with yet, so that's okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Uh, that can come down to here. So then that feeds into this cargo platform. And then the other one could probably also come out to join that as well. So now we can get to both cargo platforms going this direction. And then what I would probably do is after this point is just add a switch to the other side as well. So they can get from both sides there onto this. And I guess probably should do some signals on that. Uh, one way would be probably not because if they can get to both directions there. So for now, I guess it's not. Uh, that or sure, whatever. Okay, I don't know. This is really just so I can feed a train onto the line. Uh, we can figure out the logistics more of this later. And then really all I want to do is say from this guy, go into one of the cargo platforms like that, and then we can buy a train here, and then that will be able to join onto this train track, and it should work. In theory. And I have, like, no money right now, so we've got to actually play the game. <laughs> Earn some money. Now, I think these trams are probably at the point where they're not... Yeah, they're not really filling up anymore, because I and we sort of overbought them. So I think what we might do is... Go manage the vehicles on the line. Um, and maybe get rid of some of these ones that are just good. So get rid of five of them. And then hopefully that should sort of spread out a little bit more. Because we, we are going to these platform or these stations when there's nothing there. So that's really not going to help us out. And then over here is pretty similar. It's not as bad actually. There is like, there's a few people waiting there, but we could probably... Oh, to do with one or two less maybe because then yeah there's just too many um so let's get rid of the first three so we'll go down to five i think five should be fine on that that should be okay and then over here still have like 10 i mean they have to go a further distance oh that's a truck they have to go a further distance uh but it still seems like that we have too many because there's not really anyone waiting at the station so maybe we've got 10 here let's go down to eight and see how that runs. So we do have a we have a decent number of people using it. So like there's that. Now where's my other train? Because that train's the one that's making a bunch of money right now. That's kind of that's kind of the money maker. Everything else is kind of yeah not great. The train is 1.8. When it actually gets a sale, oh it's so good. Oh this is gonna this is gonna be good. So this will go straight through here, go all the way down to there, get that money. That'll be good. I guess in the meantime. Uh, let's set up this line. Well, actually, let's... I'm going to specify this line. So it's going to say, wait for a full load of fish. And then here is just going to unload. That's fine. And then we're going to do... A, oh, no, hang on. No, no, no. no. New line. We're going to go from here to there. And what am I trying to... Oh, and then I also want to go to the other side here. So we'll do two stops here. Yep. Onto the each platform there. So we're going to... From here, we pick up the meat... Right. Uh, manage line. So we're going to say pick up meat. And then we also want to unload bread when we get back. I don't know how we're turning meat into bread, but apparently we do. So we unload that. All right. And then over at stop number, well, platform number two, which I believe, yeah, someone on the right, that's correct. This is the unload platform. So we unload meat. And then here we load bread uh like that okay so now what that will do is when the train comes in it'll deliver the fish then this place here will take the fish it'll turn it into the meat and then this truck will pick up the meat take it here drop it off and then that will turn into two bits of bread and then the truck picks it up and brings it back here drops it off here and then the train which i don't think i put in the other stop on this did i this train then I would suggest it actually comes back here. Okay, I guess at this point in time, I do want to use this. So I kind of was doing the right thing already. Oh, look at this money. Um, okay, so what we'd want to do then, so we come back, I guess I'd probably want to do the same sort of thing. Of have a slip off here so we can come around without having to interfere with the, uh, the track here. Actually, I'm going to redo this. I, I already don't like this. I made a mistake. Let's bring this back. Let's bring it all the way back to there. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go from this level crossing and come off to the side. Like that. 
and then this will come off here. So we get both sides of the track coming off, and then that sort of just comes straight down this way toward the train station to about here, I guess. And then whichever platform we want to use here, we can just pick. It doesn't really matter. We only need to use one of them. So we'll use that one. And then over here... I mean, I guess we don't need it to go both ways at this intersection, I don't think. But whatever, we'll do it anyway. I'll come down here. I'm wondering if we should uh, bring this together with the other track before we go into the station. Like if we came over here like this. And then that would be able to come down into there. Okay, so then that comes out this way. So basically the train is going to come in this way and then it's going to come back down here. And quite frankly, I think we might actually just not bother merging back into the track here because we're about to take this sort of branch off the side. So it might be better to come back here. Also, what did I just break? Oh, the, the, okay. Yeah, right, fair enough. Uh, that doesn't matter. I'm going to remove this road because I don't think we need that, do we? I don't think so. No one seems to need it, and it's kind of messy, so let's just leave that. So this is just going to run along the side without merging back in, because it doesn't need to. Uh, so we'll come to you about, about... Oh, hang on. Before we start sort of raising up, maybe to there, and then come off. So it comes like that. Comes here, comes along the side, goes down into there. Alright, so then it comes out of that, and then from here we want to then come around and go up onto this bridge somehow. So that's what we got to figure out now. Maybe we can come off here. Yeah, we can. So if we go to here, then maybe we can get this to come down. We can, okay. But can we get it to go underneath? Uh, and then I guess we're going to have to... Oh, I don't really want to interfere with that train. Oh yeah, this is, where it gets, this is where it gets messy. Okay, maybe we can get this to go... Over, well, see, I want to stay. I want to stay as a bridge, but I think I need a. Okay, so this is what I've got for now. I don't know about this. There might. The, I mean, there's got to be a better way to do this. Anyway, so the train will come in this way, come through here, go into the platform there, and then it'll come back out of there, come through here, up and over the passenger line, so we don't interfere. Comes here and then merges back into all of this, which actually I think I might be able to make this a little bit smoother of a merge now. Uh, should be nice instead of being so abrupt. So we'll just do something like that. So that merges back in nice and smoothly. And then this can be, this will be a one-way track. So there. And then all the way through here. And then this one is also one-way going this way. All the way back to there. And actually, this keeps going, doesn't it? All the way back. Yeah, that goes to there. Right, so then, this can also be a one-way. I don't know, we're not really using the- wait, are we using this track? I don't think so. Right, so what I actually need to do now is for the train, we gotta go- yeah, I'll fix that in a second because that's kind of confused at the moment because it's gotta go there and then from here, we need to go to here. Right, yeah. And then that goes back. Cool, so that should work. So, and then here- wait, so at this one, we unload fish and then we load bread. Right, and then here we unload everything. So this unloads the bread. Okay, I think. Oh, this is confusing. So we load the fish, good. Then we go here, we unload the fish, and we load bread. And then we unload bread. Oh, okay, that's fine. Well, we'll see if it works or not, because once we start- Oh, $10 million. Once this all starts going, we'll know if it works or not. Anyway, so then it goes here. Then from here, we need to take it into the town, otherwise it's useless, so... Uh, this is getting complicated. Uh, I would probably just do another cargo station somewhere, maybe over here, because we could sort of fit it in over this way without blocking all the other stuff. So let's maybe get another one over this way, because this will still... Hang on, let's close all that, because then I can see if it's still connected. Uh, I want to make sure I have enough room on this as well, enough room on this platform to actually get all this stuff in. Hmm. Well, all the food needs to be here, basically, so we could actually do it over this side. Could I do it on this road? I could, but why would I do that? It's a good question. Well, I'm going to put it here, I think. Because... Kind of out of the way, and that means that I can expand the platform down this way and add more room if I need to. 
So, let's do a truck unload stop. Because so much food needs to go to about here-ish. That will cover, well, kind of needs to cover the whole town. I can need a lot of it here, but then also more of it over here too. So maybe I'll do a couple stops. So what we're going to do, new line. This is going to go from here and this will load. Nope, not that. It's going to load bread and then unload it. Oh, whoops. Unload it there and there. And that should be good. Okay, so then that will be unload bread. And I wish I could say only go to the second stop if it has anything in it, because it will probably, I bet it will unload most of it here and then nothing there, but we'll see. All right, so then this is a cargo truck and it's a delivery of Midland. No, this is, is this Midland? Yeah, it is Midland. Midland bread. I guess I could say food, but we're going to say bread. Uh, so that will go there. What was this? Um, oh, that's this one, right. So this is the cargo truck uh, manufacturing of, I guess, Simi Valley. Uh, maybe lower Rochester. Let's just say Rochester uh, meat. Sure, that's what that'll be. Okay, so then we need to get all the vehicles we need for this. So we're going to need another another depot out here. Buildings. Can I just see all of them? There we go. Road depot. It's going to go here, I guess. So that'll go here. And we'll get those in a minute. But we'll get the train first. So we can go from here, build, and we're going to get a steam, because that's probably the best thing we got, 442 Atlantic, cargo, we need boxcar, mm-hmm, and we're going to take, how much do we want to take? We can do, what did we do on the other train, it was like 192 or something? How big did I, I don't know, how big did I make the other train? This is uh, 216, okay, maybe we'll do something similar on this one then. Uh, so this is going to be Steam 442 Atlantic with two... Can we do 216 on this? Or am I just am I not able to do that? I think I just... I can't even afford it. Uh, I can do that, and it is the right length. So that's kind of what I want to do for 12.68 million. But for now, let's take two of those off. Just get train three. This will go on the Midland Fish line. All right, that's already getting fish. That, that's a good sign. That means it actually has sort of prepared properly. And then what I'm going to say as well, I might, I think I already did. Yeah, it's going to wait for a full load of fish. So in case there isn't a full load, it will wait. But I think we should be good. We've already got 12, so that should hopefully work out. Uh, I mean, I don't know about leaving fish in boxes in the sun like that, but that's fine. We'll just, don't worry about it. So that'll go there. That'll start going. And then over here, we need to get some trucks, which I've got, oh, I've got to wait for my train to deliver. Otherwise, I'm not going to make any money. So this train will deliver in a minute. Um, train three. Oh, where are you trying to go? Oh, you went to the wrong platform? Oh, wait, no, you didn't. That's the only one I connected. No, fair enough. That's that's on me. Uh, <laughs> this needs to just come out here. Oh, I've got no money. Right, okay. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> so that'll go there once this other train delivers, which it should be pretty soon once that gets here. Once that gets here, we should be good. In a minute, any second now, and there we go, cool. So now I can build that, and that'll give this train a path, and we should be good. So that's gonna go, that'll get, you know, picking up fish and all that, and then over here we can go buy some trucks. So, cargo, six, uh, oh yeah, it's just aesthetic differences. This doesn't carry fish, so, or meat. Or I guess I might have, I didn't check. Anyway, we'll get 10 of those, that might be too much, but we'll see. That'll go there. So that'll get that line going. And then we need a road depot. That's a tram depot. Do we have a road depot over here? This will also need some trucks. So this can take no bread. So we'll take these. We'll take eight of them. And I guess most of the time they're not going to be making any money. So that's not great. Um, oh, wait, hang on. I'm confused. Oh, I, that's not supposed to be CT. That's cargo. That should be TR. Whoops. I need. <laughs> that's why I was confused. I was like, that's not right. Anyway, yes, it's going to be this line there, but it's got the wrong name. Uh, so that's good to see my naming practices are already going awry. So that should be truck. There we go. Right. So that should be good. So all the aspects of it should be lined up. I mean, these guys are going to be doing nothing for a while. 
Gotta wait for this train to get going. Well, that's the other train. Where's my new train? Uh, oh, it's already over here. Oh, sweet. So this will sit here picking up fish. Oh, yeah, look at this. So then how much is this? This produces at a rate of, well, it's shipping at a rate of 200. And this line has a rate of 247. Actually, that should be perfect. By the time it gets back again, it should have the perfect amount. Or at least a full amount. That, that should be fine. Cool. Um, all right. So that'll pick up all that. And then that'll be able to... I mean, the first time it goes... I'm wondering if we should have it wait here at number two for at least a little bit. Um, I'm going to say wait for a full load, but I'm going to change it to like one minute. So I won't wait too long. But it will give it some time to sit here and wait for things to start gathering. Although I guess, no, maybe three minutes is better. Three minutes isn't that long. You know what? I'm going to change that back to three minutes. I, I regret that decision. Uh, that's going to be back to three minutes. We could make it unlimited, but I don't think I want to do that. Three minutes. All right, that'll do that. So that's going now. So the idea of this train, the train is the same engine. It also is the same number of cars. Is Both of these trains should be the same top speed and same, you know, power, hopefully. So that when they're running on the same section of track, they shouldn't hold up each other. That's the idea. Uh, do we need this road? I don't think so. I'm going to get rid of this because it's ugly. Okay, I don't need that. And then this road's also just here for some reason. There we go. Rid of that. Now, uh, these guys... Oh. Well, we need that road. I've just broken that. <laughs> just realized we do need this road because it connects this to that. We didn't technically need it, so that's why I didn't get any warning that anything was broken, but um, we do need it. Now, can we do a tunnel or something? Or anything? Can I go over this? Because hmm. I would like it to work, you know? Let's go here. And I can just go over. I don't want it to, because there'll be pedestrian cars using this road, so that's why I don't really want it to um, interfere. Wow, that has to go really tall. Sure, let's do that. I would like it to, yeah, get that little get that little pathway connection. There you go. And do that. Now, is that connected again? Yes, okay, good. And then I'll put this back. <laughs> Oops, that's been broken for a while, but that should fix it. <laughs> Alright, so that, that should be good. Alright, so this should still be fine, I assume, because they're dropping off there. These guys will actually start getting stuff again. Uh, hopefully, let's see. Yep, they're picking up stuff again. Cool, alright, yeah, that's my bad. Anyway, that's good. I mean, well, this, I don't know. Maybe a tunnel would have been better. It looks like it probably would have made more sense. Uh, so let me try that again. I really, <laughs> I really hate that. So if I go here and then go down... Come on, tunnel, dude. Really? How? Oh, there you go. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't need to go that down that far. That's the thing. I wish there was just like a a mode to start tunneling, because there we go. And then that can just come to here. Can I have it a bit better? Yeah. Because it's like it goes down so deep, but it doesn't need to. It just needs to go straight across. Anyway, whatever. That's fine. All right, so that, that should be fine still, right? Cool. Uh, and it looks better than a big bridge, so that's nice. All right, that's back up and running. Um, the trams are still going. We're still getting people between the towns. Is this passenger train making money? It's got 22 people on it. It's nearly making money. I, I think we need to increase the sort of throughput of this, and I think we'd be able to do that if we took the train further, like down to McAllen or Houston, and just keep going with it, because there's just so far we can go. Then it would start making a lot of money, but I really want to see this fish enterprise up and running. Oh, yes. So that's delivered all the fish. Uh, these guys have picked it. They're picking up all the meat. So that delivered it all in here. Now this is producing meat. And these guys are picking up all that, taking it to here. Did that deliver anything? I don't know. Do, do we have the first delivery yet? It might be this guy. Potentially. Or well, they might have already delivered stuff. I don't know. No, I don't think so, because they haven't done anything yet. Alright, so when this gets delivered, I'm hoping we start seeing production, like, right away. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So that already gets to produce some stuff. That picks up two. Not a lot, but... It means the next one should have enough to, like, fill up, which is really good. So that'll fill up with six bits of uh, bread. There you go. Oh, yeah! Yeah, because this will produce twice as much as these trucks are moving, so... It should be pretty profitable. 
and the train's already gone. So the train has already left with nothing on board, I think. Uh, there it is. Did it deliver anything? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, the next time it comes back, it should actually pick up a huge amount, which should be really good. So it comes around here, which I don't think- this isn't so bad. Coming up around like this. It's not super fast, but then I mean it's right near the station anyway. So that's not a problem. I guess the only issue might be when... If this train is coming here at full speed, and then this joins in really slowly. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, we could even separate this track later on, so it doesn't even touch it, because it could just completely bypass it and join here to this guy. Alright, so this has 213, 14 bits of fish, which should be, yep, perfect for this. Actually, we should upgrade the size of the train back to what it was before. Uh, I might modify this vehicle to get the extra space, the 216 capacity. There you go. So just add the extra two cars because then that'll be really, really good. So we've got 8.4 million. And what I want to do with this in just a minute is get another one of these trains. So we'll duplicate this. Last time I checked it was about 12 million to get another one. So we'll have to wait a minute. Uh, but once that's going, then we should be pretty good. Because we'll have two of those trains that are making a bunch of money on this line. Because this rate at the moment is 123. We can easily get... But another two trains at least on this line, I think, and still be profitable. That would actually be really good. And then what I want to do is extend the passenger line and start moving down this- Whoa, that was like Start moving down this map because we've got so much room. We've only really just been in this one little space. Like, look at this. It just keeps going. There's so many things here. Uh, so, where were we? Oh no, road vehicle is poor. The condition. Oh well. They'll, they'll be fine. Look, they'll be fine. Um, actually, it might be an idea to get more ships, because we do actually have a decent amount of steel now. I'm wondering, how much steel do we are we outputting, and are we moving enough of it? Uh, I mean, it looks like we are, because they, yeah, they've just run out. So we are moving enough of it. But that's also why we need to get another train on this line. So we can get more steel being produced. But we could definitely do it with more ships, picking up more logs, so we do it. We have plenty of these. There's like loads of those. And then we could do a little canal here <laughs> that I started building. Uh, which is nice. There's a big mountain there, so I don't think we'll do one there. Maybe it would have been better to do... Oh, no, I guess it makes sense here, because then it could join to this bit. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll build that. I don't know if we'll do one further up. I don't think there's much point. We could maybe do one... Uh, I was say maybe here. It's pretty hilly. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to have to go here through that bit. Should be fine, though. Anyway, Midland's looking pretty good, I think. Ah, oh, 12.7 million. Midland's looking good. Can we have a look at the chart? Oh, well, it was looking better. <laughs> you know what? That might have happened. I wonder if that's when I removed the road and we stopped delivering fuel because we stopped producing it. Because that, that might have been a while <laughs> when, when I stopped doing that. So that, that, that could have been why. Anyway, it looks like it's back up and running now, which is good. We could probably get... Uh, I wonder if we can get... What's the demand on this? Consuming 78... Supplying 400, but I guess we're not supplying enough, right? We could get more trucks on this line, probably. So this, what is the rate? One, we could double this line. And then get that up to like... Oh, well, actually, we could have more than doubled that, because we can get up to 400. Because that's what this is outputting. At least I think it is. It's outputting, outputting 400, which is all going to the refinery. So yeah, we could definitely get the rate up to 400 on this. So we got 312 managed vehicles. Well, all the ones that are very bad, I maybe maybe should have like at least updated these or something. Well, there's nothing. No, there's nothing to replace them with. What am I doing? I don't care. Uh, we need another hundred, maybe another ten of these. Is that would that be enough? We got ten more. What does that get us to? 391. That's pretty good. So then this will output, it should, with the increased supply, output 200-ish. So then this line we'd want a rate of 200. We've only got 48 at the moment, so... I think maybe we just... Let's double that to get it to, like, 100-ish. Um... I guess we could double again, right? We could go up to 200 and just see what happens. 189. So that's about half the rate of this new crude line that we've sort of updated. Anyway, we'll see what happens there. We've got a bunch of vehicles coming. Coming? 
We got a bunch of vehicles coming on the way, and then... Oh my gosh, look at them all. Then we need, uh... The train, which I, I guess I could have bought before, but we'll be able to buy it in a minute, because we'll have those other ones delivering soon. This is delivering a lot of ore. Where's my other train? It's here, it's waiting for food. Oh, it's actually got a really good amount, 164. Dang. So what is this now doing? Because this is getting supplied 300 fish. Which means we're producing 150 meat. And what's the rate of this? 114. So we could probably get more on here. Uh, I guess the slight issue is maybe that we're gonna- yeah, we're having a problem getting all the food from here because we're taking back twice as much food as we're delivering meat. So that- I guess- hmm, there's a slight problem. <laughs> These guys really don't need to wait here as long as they are. I guess that's just spacing out at the moment. Because they should always have a full load of um, meat on the way back. And then this, yeah, this doesn't have any more fish at the moment, so that should be fine. Anyways, this train is sitting at 182 of 204, which is really, really good. And this has produced, I think it's done everything it can, right? Stored zero, yeah, so now we're going to have way too many vehicles on this line. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, 12.3, okay. Can we afford to just duplicate that train? Wherever it is. I just want to click on it and duplicate it. Here it is. Uh, can I do that? Oh, it must be like 12.7 or something. I think we're close. Very close. This train should leave soon though. And when it does... Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. This train is not making money? Oh no, it's just because it's not really done much. It must have been sitting here a while. I guess maybe the three minutes is slightly too long. Because if it's sitting here for like two years... I guess that's probably not ideal. Anyway, it's taking a bunch of food. Which, I'm a little concerned now that this platform is not big enough for that amount of food that we're gonna have coming in. So I might just do this. And what I'm also gonna do... Is say... This line, this food line... Probably should just wait here until it gets food because... It's not gonna do anything else. Uh... Because it's it, there's nothing there's no reason they should be driving really. I also kind of wish my vehicles would use like the other lane because they're stuck behind these trams, which is so slow. I guess we could we could turn up the speed so we can get new. Oh my god, look at these guys! <laughs> they're stuck behind those. Didn't they used to use a different bridge, or do they always use that bridge? Oh, you know what? They used to go this way, but because they destroyed the roads and all that, I think they started going the other way. Oh no, they must have gone this way, because... Wait, no, they never... Wait, where did this used to go? Because it's always it was always facing this way. Hmm. I don't really like that they're going this way. Because they have to go through the town to get here first, right? They definitely used to use this bridge, and then I've destroyed it. Which is, yeah, that's my fault. Uh... Hmm. Go here and have this come up to there. Well, they'd use that and they would use that instead, which is kind of dumb that they have to go all the way around like that. So, why do we have such a big queue here? Have I made them wait forever on this line? What have I done? Um, manage line. I don't know. Just waiting for a maximum of three minutes for a full load, but I guess they're really taking that long to. Don't we have- we have loads in there. Why is it taking so long just to get them to have a full load? I mean, I guess I have too many of these. <laughs> it's probably the simple answer. Uh, so if we go here, what's the rate? The rate is 200, but I guess this is- Oh, it's only shipping 100. Right. And then what do we get- what do we have down here? To get this to the next level, we, we're not consuming enough. Right, okay, I probably should have checked all that. Where else needs fuel? Um... Anywhere nearby? Denver? We could take fuel there. It's a little... Oh, we could take it... Wait, we could take it by boat, I guess. It's not ideal though, is it? Oh, look at this food. Alright, well anyway, this line has too many vehicles on it. So until that upgrades, this is really, really useless. So we've got 198. We need a half the number of vehicles on this. My bad. Probably should have double-checked that we we're actually needing this many. And clearly we're not, so... Let's just get rid of them all. Well, not all of them. Half of them. 
uh, 24 vehicles and sell those. Right, that should be good. 98, because this thing only produces at 100, so that should be fine. Now, this should probably also just go here. Like that, because that's where it's going to be going. Oh, they're both going to go that way? But they'll, one of them went the other way. All right, well, this whole thing really should just be over here. You know what? I'm going to move that. <laughs> it really should just be over here, because if they're not even using that direction, why, why is it there? Uh, so how far away can we get this? We can get this about there. Cool. So this is going to go here now. And the road will go straight into that. And then this, number one, which is waiting for refined oil, is now actually going to go there. So we'll delete number one now. This will wait for, oops, wait for refined oil. And we delete that one. And we can delete all this weird stuff that we've got going on here. I'll just need up this corner here because that's also not very good. All right, so then this can just go like that. Okay. So then other cars can still use it, but my trucks will use this line here, which just makes more sense because they're going this way anyway. I don't really know why it was over there. I guess because I was going to... I mean, it, I guess it was before I did all of this, so it probably made more sense before, but then we did this whole thing and, you know... Anyway, we've got 107 food waiting here now, so this line should be pretty busy. And then my fish train... Oh, I got 17 million? Dang. Alright, we're doing good now. Where's my other train? Uh... This one? Is this my ore train? Yeah, it is. I right, duplicate that. Oh. There it is. Beautiful. So that'll come out of here, and hopefully it can get to where it needs to go. I think it can. So that goes from there. So we've got a second of those. The fish train is just sitting here waiting for fi Oh no, it's not. It's off. So I think that's 66. I guess it waited long enough and I was like, I'm done. See ya. Manage line. Yeah, wait for three minutes and it's gone. That's fine. I guess that was three minutes. And this is producing food. Slowly, I guess. It's making a bit more, but it's not like... It's kind of going. So actually, it is going up now. Maybe it's just because it, the rate, like, it's not as consistent as it could be. Like, maybe because there's so much food sitting here. We, I mean, we have 141 food sitting here. It's not like they don't want it. Uh, so I'm just thinking maybe because, like, this is going. It's going. But it's only got... Oh, wait, no, it's getting more meat. Hang on, where's the meat here? Have we, have we run out of meat? So this guy is going. It's kind of... Yeah, they've got... Okay, they've got plenty of fish still stored, so it is going. All right. It's just, like, sort of trickling because it's not super fast it's requiring 67 then that'll make like 100 and something okay it, no it is going i think it's just because we're having so many like stops and starts between the whole system running i guess i don't know <laughs> you know what i don't know what am i talking about i don't know now this oh this is about to level up that's amazing so we're shipping wait now we're shipping 200 what happened to this only being 100 because now we have too much here Consuming. This is consuming 193. Alright. So, yeah, this would be... Alright, well... I guess we do need more vehicles on this line. Do we? I don't know, because last time we had that many vehicles on this line, it seemed like it was too much. Manage vehicles. Do we do it? Do we just go and duplicate it again? Or is that... Have we just made a big mistake? 204. I mean, this is shipping almost 200, and it's about to level up, so it will be able to ship more than that. Yeah, so it's gonna sh it can ship up to 400. It shouldn't, though, because the consumer is only taking 200. I guess when I made that change, then this was like, yeah, we do need that, because this has leveled up. I guess maybe it just leveled up? And quite frankly, it's about to level up again, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. We got 153 being consumed here now, so... Sure. That's good. That's really good. All right, so that's that's nice. We, I would like to take fuel down to here. I'm wondering maybe we could do a cargo train. Um, but how would we do it? I guess directly from Midland Fuel Refinery if we had a station here and have that go off to there. But then what could we bring? What could we bring back? You know, it's always that thing, and there's not many things you can put in the. You can only put oil or like fuel in in tanker trains. So maybe we ship it. Maybe we just do another shipping line. Let's actually, because we've got quite a bit of money now sitting around here. And I know we still have a big loan, but quite frankly, loans in this game aren't really that important. Like, you don't... 
you don't really end up paying that much by keeping a loan, so it's really not worth it. So what I'm going to do is just widen this canal, hopefully get it to be usable, and then from that we can work out the shipping lines. Look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, there's already one going through there, that's amazing. It's really wonky though. Like there's the one going through there at the moment, so let's uh, try and neaten this up a little bit. Widen the canal, you know. Give it a bit more space. Look at this. A thing of beauty. And we'll give it like a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, neater mouth. Because, I mean, there's a very angular around those corners. Oh, I've run out of money. Uh, but that should, yeah. What is it? Why do they do this? Can it just be like on the same side, please? That's, that annoys me so much. Like, I guess this stops there and then it wants to be on the right. No, wait, it's on the way back, though. I guess it makes sense, but it could just stay here on this side and go there. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, let's maybe it just needs to be a little bit wider for it to like update again. Oh, that there you go. A little better. <laughs> I mean, I've spent like what eight million on that. How much did that save? I mean, it probably saved a considerable amount of time. I should have checked the rate before and then afterwards. Anyway, what I would like to do with this then is add a cargo harbor here and that should be close enough to the fuel refinery to actually ship the fuel and then just have it end up here because I think if we have a look at the cargo that's right here we could probably remove that build a cargo harbor here and have this just delivered directly to the town which is actually pretty amazing so that goes right there and then this oh I probably should have made them large I should have made the other one that's right I'll just have to do it afterwards then we get this as far back as we can. That should be close enough to this, I think, to uh, to count as being connected. Uh, I'm not sure what this road is, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Gee, I actually really don't know what that road was for. I'm going to do this, and then this can come down to here, I guess. Or like this, and then like that. So this is connected to there. That's fantastic. So that means we can take a new shipping line which is going to be from here and this will load up on fuel and you know what I'll say wait for a full, full load and then we'll go to here to Denver oh what why do they do that can it can it not <laughs> can, can I have it not do that does anyone know? is it it's probably just because it's so thin like it's just getting confused I guess maybe anyway then that will unload and if, if there's anything we could pick up from there I don't know what we could do but at the moment we'll just leave it like that so this is going to be uh, what, what's the, how do we do this? Cargo ship. So CS, uh, delivery of Midland, well, I guess maybe call it Denver because it's going to Denver. Denver fuel. Sure. So we got a new cargo ship. It's going to take fuel to Denver. That's the idea. Uh, I, then I might just go here and change this to a large dock. Cargo. Like that, and then we're gonna go missile lane. Oh, pass the cart. Where do I landing? Uh, there. All right, so that will go there. Right, so then I don't have enough money to buy a ship. I don't think at all. Large. Oh, fuel ship. Yeah, one thirty. So we'll take that ship. That'll fill up. Take all the fuel. It's only a million bucks actually. That's pretty cheap. So that's gonna go on to Denver fuel. Now Denver is going to start demanding fuel, which is fantastic. I think it's 28 at the moment, but it's going to start needing more. So then this should now start being consumed by Denver as well, which is fantastic. So this will start getting fuel. Oh, oh, that's going to be good. Uh, these guys are a little bit backed up here. Have I told them to wait here? Because I feel like that's always my detriment. I'm going to tell them not to wait there. Just, just go. If there's nothing there, just, just go. It's fine. Whatever. It'll be there next time. Don't worry about it. Just, let's be a little bit more consistent. Yeah, see, look, it's like, it's backed up again. It's like, oh, we're shipping 200. So I'm like, okay, I'll make my rate 200. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, it's 275. Okay, it wasn't 275 before. All right, well, that, fine. That one's on me. <laughs> that one's on me. It, don't, it wasn't, I'm just going to say it wasn't 275 before. Remove eight of them so we get down to 40 and see what that is. 264, all right. Remove another 10, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, yes, please. 229. So, you know what? Let's leave it there because I think this might change anyway soon. Well, actually, it's dropped down quite a lot. Uh, cool. I thought it was going to change for the better. I guess it's changing for the worse. Uh, a grain train of this, this whole train line should be doing pretty good. So we got one of them there. Where's the other one? Is this doing well? Where is the other one? Oh, yeah. The other thing I wanted to do is set up the plastic this episode. Because if we just take the plastic to here and we take the planks to there as well, then we're going to start making goods right away and we can take goods straight into Jacksonville, which is fantastic as well. Oh, look at the fuel down here. 11. Where's that ship? This is my fuel ship. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful. And this guy's got six steel on it. Wow. Great. <laughs> Could have more than that. That'd be nice. Well, there's quite a lot here, actually. I wonder if this platform might start getting a little bit busier because we've added a second train. Might make that a little bit bigger. Uh, there was a few questions about why don't we just train the steel, and quite honestly... Ooh, I was gonna say we, we may as well, but I don't know that we should, because... Oh, is this train really cl Oh no, the other train's... I think the other train's pretty close ahead, that's why. Um, I was gonna say, we could... Because now we have this, this cargo station right here, we could take the train, the steel, right to here. But then we can't really take anything back. I guess we could take maybe planks, but... There's not really anywhere for them to go. I mean, we don't always have to take something back. Like, there's not always a reason to do that. But, taking something back with us is just you... Then you make the train way more profitable. And I think in this case, we're probably fine just leaving it as, uh, trucks. Because, I mean, they're doing an okay job. I think. If we start getting a huge backlog, then we're going to have a problem. But it seems like they're keeping up with it okay. This is producing currently 90... No, it's dropping quickly because it's really inconsistent what we're supplying with it. Uh, hopefully that picks up. This guy is shipping 200. We need to actually... You know what? So with the grain stuff, that's why we need to get this going. So then this can upgrade and demand more grain. Um, so what I'm going to do... Let's get that done quickly now before the end of this part. So I'm just going to say there's going to be a road... Oh. going to be a road here, straight along. Uh, and then that will go to here, and this will go straight... Oh. Straight over. Go up so we can let ships through. And then that just goes straight to here. Yeah. So that connects straight through to here, and then... I don't know why this is here, I don't know what that is, but whatever. Uh, so this will just be a drop-off point, so that's all it needs to be. So we'll just say we can drop off here. Uh, and then this can pick up plastic. Uh, I'll do it over this side, because then we can expand it a lot easier. Well, actually, not if I put it there. Hmm. Put it... Okay, I can go pretty far down the road. <laughs> put it, it's not even, it doesn't even have to go far, it's like so close to the other one. Right, this will go here, it'll join into that bit. And then this will be a... New line. Oh, it's auto saving. Ah, oh, I'm gonna make two new lines now. Bang. Alright. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so this new line is gonna go from here to here. And we're gonna say this is gonna- whoops, damn it. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. From here to here. And this is gonna pick up plastic. And then we just unload, that, that should be fine. So this is gonna be cargo truck, and it's gonna be manufacturing. And where are we? Jacksonville? Jacksonville. Plastic. Cool. So that'll go there. That does that. Do we have a road depot that is connected somewhere? This is, yes. So we're gonna get a few vehicles on this. Uh, I guess this one here. So let's get, I don't know, like six vehicles. It's quite a lot for such a small line, so it should be okay. I'll color them. I feel like I'm not coloring my vehicles as much anymore. Anyway, so this is gonna have grain now. And that should... Yep, start producing plastics. There it goes, and that will go straight into here. Then we're gonna get this guy, because this is consuming logs, right? Or is it not? Oh no, supply. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's getting 400 from the Denver forest, which is ridiculous. Like, I don't know why we're shipping logs. We just are. Oh, we're shipping them from over here. So then we can take. We can probably use. No, we can't use that. Can we use this one? No, I mean, I guess we'll just make a new one. So we'll take those, and then we're going to get over to here. Over to here. So how do I want to do that? Maybe use this main... Oh, <clears throat> use this main road. 
Uh, and I might do a tunnel, because there's a lot going on here already. So what I might do... Let's actually bring this back. I'm gonna go road. I'm gonna go down. Please. There we go. Do a tunnel. I'm gonna tunnel all the way to here. Because I feel like I've already... We've already got 24 million. We're in 1910. We're doing pretty good for ourselves, so... <laughs> that'll go to there, and then that'll come back up. To here. And then... I mean, I guess this really should be a country road. I just like the look of this because it's paved, so it seems nicer, you know? Um, so I can go to here. And then I'm just gonna... Pause for a second. Because I hate that road. And then that's going to become... You know, I'll redo this bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's no connection right now, game. It's okay. It's okay. Get rid of that bit. So this will come out to here. And then this will go straight along... Well, not straight along. Here somewhere. And over to there. And then this one just goes into like that. So then you can sort of go through this way as well, or come to this road and go across, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that comes out here. Then we want to do a truck unload stop. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I guess if we come across... No, I don't want that to see. I don't want it to connect. I'll go here. And then I don't want to add another intersection, so we'll join to the existing intersection. Okay, and then we'll have an unload stop here. So it unloads right there. And then we'll pick up logs... I guess off the side here. Oh, planks. Sorry, not logs. Pick them up here. Uh, whoops, I'm supposed to hold shift. There we go. Line it up. Go about there. So, oh. About there, so we have room to expand it. And then we go street. Just join that onto here. And we do a new line from there to here. And then this will be cargo truck manufacturing. Uh, where are we? We're Midland, Midland planks. Right, so that goes like that. Beautiful. And then from here, we need to just take it into Jacksonville. And then we can just do a, maybe just like a little cargo platform here somewhere along the main road. Uh, like this. No, I need to leave room to expand. Uh, I mean, that should be okay. I can move that road if I need to. So that if I need to expand it, I should be able to. So I'm just going to take this down here, so it's a little bit... Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Do I want this road to connect through? Because I don't really want people driving on that, but... Ah, we'll see how we go. So that'll go there, and then we're going to go truck, unload, stop. Goods to here somewhere should be fine. Cool. So then we do a new line from here to here. And this is cargo truck delivery. Uh, Jacksonville goods, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna add vehicles to all these lines. So the plastic one already has vehicles. Um, we have a road depot here, so then we're gonna go for a planks one. I don't know how many planks are really getting here. I'm gonna do eight of them. We'll see how we go with that. Now we're on the Midland planks, and then we're gonna go... I don't know how... Again, I don't know how many goods we're gonna be getting here. Um, but let's go like five, I guess? And put them on the goods line. Alright, that should actually sort of start everything going. This has some stored logs, so that should, yeah, already start producing planks, which is good. And then hopefully we can deliver enough logs. We might need to get more ships. I mean, this one just delivered, so... I mean, yeah, we might need more of those. Because where's the other one? Oh, it's right here, actually. It's not, I mean, well, actually, they're really close to... Why are they so close to... Oh, I guess this is waiting for steel. Maybe we should stop them waiting for steel so long. Uh, I'm just gonna take that off. They can just go whenever. Because otherwise they're gonna be waiting there forever. Alright, so we've got all the new vehicles going out. Uh, this line here, actually, I probably should have said... Uh, this one can wait for goods, I reckon, because... If there's no goods, there's no point in them even going anywhere. Oh, look at this road. My vehicles are so slow compared to theirs. Hey, the cars are going way faster. When do I get faster trucks? It's so slow. This road as well. Look at this road. It's so busy. I kind of want to redo this bridge so it's not as steep. Like, I mean, even this this bridge is 
not that steep, but the trams are so damn s Seven kilometers an hour? You might as well just walk. Why would you even get a tram? All right, do we need more food trucks? I'm wondering. Or are we good? Is this line making- Oh, line does make money. That's awesome. Uh, you know what? I think we do need more food trucks. We've got another train coming in right now. So let's go... Actually, so what? the rate of that's 82. What's the rate of the food that we're delivering? Consuming... Well, actually, hang on. The rate of this line... 131. I... Oh, hello. Stop moving. Uh, I don't know if... The, why? Stop. It keeps going upward. Uh, I don't know that that really directly correlates to this, because it's a little confusing. Because we got that train doing a few things. But I think we need more than 82, a rate of 82. So let's get a few more vehicles. Maybe another four. What does that get us to? 123? That might be a bit better. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so another train coming in. Is that going to completely overload this platform or will we be okay? Might be a little rough. We'll see. Yep. Yep, that's way too much. Yeah, we need to get this food moving quick. So I'm going to get another... Another... Four vehicles. We have 16. See how that goes. How's this train going? 25 out of 64. Not really making money. I think it needs to go further. The train doesn't really go anywhere. Um, man, there's a lot of vehicles. Because it only, I mean, it only goes here, so it's not really going far. So I guess maybe that's what we want to work on. Now, how's this going? Are we getting any goods yet? Nah, we don't have any planks. Planks is our real downfall at the moment. Oh, they're coming. Here, here they come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay, so this is producing... Uh, well, it's consuming 100 planks over there. What is the rate of this line that we have? 72? Maybe we should, uh... Hang on. No, I'm trying to get to the line. Manage vehicles. Alright, so maybe we should get that up to 100 then? Another couple, maybe? That'll get us to 89, maybe one more. 97. That should be good. Hopefully that'll be good. And then this will start producing goods, and then we can start delivering goods. Straight and jack- oh my god, look at this line. <laughs> is this line making money? It is. It's actually making quite a lot <laughs> for a truck line. They're still not actually even moving everything. There's still so much there. What is the rate that we have? 390? But I mean, I think we're well and truly doing pretty good. 29.5 million. I think I'm pretty good at this game. And with that, this season is done. All done for this season. Uh, I might as well repay the loan because I feel like you guys will just keep asking me to do it if I don't just repay it. So let's, let's just do it. I mean, it does not even that expensive. Like the loan interest is only 300,000 a year. That's why I'm like, it doesn't really even matter. There we go. We have a loan of 500,000 and our loan's gone. There we go. So now it's all our money. Uh, next episode, uh, let me know in the comments what you actually want to see because we have a few options. I think expanding the passenger line would be really good. Uh, and then, what else? I mean, we can really do a lot of stuff. I don't- when do we get planes? What year? We're in 1910. It can't be too far off. Maybe like 1920 or something? 1930? I don't know when planes come. Um, yeah, we could start expanding the passenger delivery more. Um, I think maybe that's what- passenger delivery. Passenger services. I think that's what we'll do next. We've got a really good backbone of infrastructure. Of, of like, uh, cargo infrastructure. Um, so if we start doing more passenger services, that could be really good. Um... Midland is looking pretty good right now. Like, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. That's good. Um, and if we start... Oh, if we start doing mail, that'd be cool. I don't even know how we can get that. To look into that. Oh, look at the steel here. Sweet. This is, I mean, this is all coming alive, though. This is really cool. And the, the bigger these towns grow, and the more we expand the passenger lines, you know, the more used they're going to be, and then that train will just be even better. So we should keep working on that as well. You see how fast the cars are compared to my trucks? We need better trucks, like, ASAP. This is still not... The balance is still not quite right on this. But whatever. There's only got two stored. I'm wondering, because, like, we're constantly delivering. But we're clearly still not delivering enough, because it's not able to, like, keep up. Supplying. Are we... Su we're supplying 600? Oh, that's what it's... I don't even know. I guess maybe that's one of the mods I have. It goes up to 600 now. So we could, you know, we really should maybe just get a train, because this these trucks are just so garbage, they cannot keep up. If we just fill up a train of 600, take it there, go back, we'd probably make a bunch of money anyway. Alright, well I'm going to leave this part here, we'll be back next time. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see, we already have another 10 million, so I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'll see you next time, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.